Hello and welcome. Absolutely ideal weather for football here in Manchester at the Etihad. I'm Derek Ray and I'm joined for expert analysis by Stuart Robson. I'm looking forward to bringing you action from the Premier League coming right up. It is Manchester City up against West Ham United. Well, Derek, when looking forward to this game, you can't help but notice there are some great matchups all over the pitch, particularly in those central areas. Whichever team wins more of those battles will win the game. Well, Kevin De Bruyne, one of the complete midfield players in the modern game. Stuart, what do you expect we'll see from him this time around? Well, the best players can play in tight areas, and he can certainly play in tight areas, in and around the box. His creativity is excellent. Playing little one-twos, balls round the corner, linking up with other teammates, just to have that little bit of penetration. He's going to be key to breaking down this defence. And so they start at 11 for Manchester City. Ederson stands between the posts. Joao Cancelo starts with Kyle Walker as fullbacks. Kevin De Bruyne plays alongside Rodri in the centre of midfield. And the idea is to have just the one striker up there trying to pose problems for the opposition. And the starting lineup for West Ham United. The experienced Lukasz Fabianski stands between the posts. Kurt Zuma plays with Angelo Ogbonna in central defence. And rather than use a strike partnership, they've gone with just the one player in attack. And now they get the ball rolling. An attack full of promise. Terrific block. And possibilities here. They really look after the ball when they have it. And a chance to whip it in here. And you can sense the threat is there. And he takes on the shot. My goodness, that save, fully stretched he was, one for his own highlights reel. Who's going to get on the end of it? Well, they don't concede it, let's see what they do this time. And there's the delivery. It didn't happen for them. It looks promising. Has plenty of know-how in the ball shielding department. They've won back possession. Grealish. Ronaldo Silva. On to Grealish, tremendous block. And the counter-attack is on, options available. They need to get bodies back. Pretty comfortable piece of defending. Antonio. Vladimir Kuval. Antonio. He has time to play it over. Lost possession. Kevin De Bruyne. Walker now. It was an errant pass by Gabriel Jesus. It's a high-level tackle. Brilliant. 
Grealish. Joao Cancelo. Well, the attack looks promising. De Bruyne. Here's Gabriel Jesus. Can he put them in front? Rodri sends it back. We're getting right on top of their opponents and winning it back. Well, flinging himself at the ball. Well, this is a big moment, and don't these fans know it? Let's see about the delivery and an effective clearance. De Bruyne, Ruben Diaz. And he read it well defensively. This might be ideal for the counter. Said Ben Rama. Rice with it. Read it superbly to take back possession. Rodri Grealish Phil Foden now there to take it away it's got to be and fine goalkeeping And he's fired over the corner. Well, very effective goalkeeping to touch it over. Another corner conceded. What can they do with this one? And well, if you're wondering about added time, two minutes it'll be. Pot. Rodri here's De Bruyne and a fantastic diving save And over it comes, and he's clear as lines. That is that for the first half here. Well, truth be told, he's only had a very limited influence on this game, Stuart. Well, the service to him hasn't been good, but he hasn't exactly been busting a gut to find space, has he? He needs to work much harder to affect the game and start testing this goalkeeper. The two teams have switched around and are ready now for the second half. Bernardo Silva. Foden. Here's De Bruyne. Excellent defending. Really fine initial touch. And West Ham being afforded too much space here. Said Ben Rama. In possession to give them the lead, maybe. Oh, just wide of the mark. Goal kick. Well, that never looked like troubling the keeper, did it? But it was worth an effort. A good strike from him.
Foden. And that was a very fine read. Attacking possibilities for West Ham. Suchek. And they could face difficulties here. Surely. And a wonderful diving save to deny the opportunity. Who's going to get on the end of it? Well, it has come to nothing. Rodri. Laporte. Walker. De Bruyne. Here's Grealish. Foden. And the tackling like that, the onus is on the referee to take action, potentially. Well, the card is out, and it's yellow. Yeah, it's clumsy and it's late. Definitely a yellow card. A change in the offing for City. And a long way out. Well, you saw what he was trying with that free kick, but the goalkeeper had it covered all the way. Suchek. A very good tackle. Your wife is waiting for you. But certainly allowing their opponents to come onto them. Can he put them in front? And it was a wonderful chance, but the goalkeeper comes through. Yes, Derek, we have to give credit to the keeper, but surely he should have scored there. That's a big, big chance. And over comes the corner. Just the clearance that was needed. And Bernardo Silva has it. And using his body to good effect. Now, counter-attacking possibilities here. Oh, good strike! And the keeper diving to thwart him. And Manchester City will go to their bench. Who can he pick out? Relatively straightforward to mop up defensively. Doughty defending to win the ball back. Declan Rice. In a position from which they could potentially do a bit of damage here. And a fine cross. Superb block. Now we're inside the final 10 minutes in this one. Breaking at pace. On the attack, is there to be late drama? Cuts it back. Oh, can you believe it? With so little time left, surely that will be the winner. Amazing scenes here. Well, here's the replay. He's done really well to get his head up and pick somebody out with that cutback. But the keeper should do better at his near post. That's gone in far too easily. That's not good goalkeeping. What a big moment in the dying embers. Will it prove decisive here? 
Five minutes left. Walker. Chasing this game, Manchester City, with time running out. Jesus. So following the deflection, a corner kick coming up here. A change in the offing for City. Number two, Kyle Walker, to be replaced by number 21, Ferran Torres. And there's the delivery. Well, as a defender, that will sit you down to the ground. It is to be a throw-in. Bernardo Silva. And close, but offside nonetheless. For Niles. Declan Rice. They might be able to get in now. And so the referee blows for full time, and it's disappointment for Manchester City. A defeat for them. Your assessment of the performance? Yes, Derek, there was very little in it for much of the game. I'm sure they feel they deserve a point at least. And it's obviously disappointing to concede in that manner so late on. But they just have to bounce back now. Well, no doubt about it. Manuel Lancini really took that game by the scruff of the neck. Stuart, as always, keen to get your analysis. Well, I enjoyed watching him today. His work rate, skill and movement were excellent and he fully deserved to score that winning goal.